Now let's take a look at how we can export our sheet to DWG file. That is AutoCAD file. Okay. To do that, all we have to do is come over here on the file and click on it. And then you come down here to export. You can see a lot of ways you can export this file. You can export this file to PDF, IFC, DWF. If you're in a 3D view, you can export to FBX and all that. You can see all these other ones here are grayed out. You might have to be, you know, you can see you can also export to image and animation. Okay. Whatever you have to export to. So what we want to export to is a card format. That's DWG. So I'm going to select the DWG file. Now there are lots of options available for you to work with here. Okay. So now initially, immediately when you open this dialog box, the DWG export dialog box, it is going to export the current view only, but you can change that by selecting all the sheets in your view. And it's going to select all the sheets in your view for you. Or you can come down here and you can come down here to set it to views in sheets alone or sheets in a set or you know, views in the model. Okay. Now you can select the ones you want. All right. So I want to select um, all views and sheets in the model so I can make my own selection. So I'm going to check none. Now I want to like make some exports of my own. So I want to make export this 3D view. Okay. I want to export a section view on its own and I want to es export some, some sheets. Okay. I want to export this first one. I'm going to check this one. Okay. I want to export the dimension plan and then the floor finishes plan. Okay. Now, when I finish exporting this, there is another setting I want us to take a look at. Okay. This is the select export setup. So I'm going to click on this. A lot of things are here. I'm not going to be talking about all of them. It's going to take a lot of time for me to talk about all of them. So I'm going to like touch on them briefly. Okay. So every single category in Revit has already been predestined of the layers they are going to be in and the color they are going to have, you know, when you export them to DWG. These, um, these layers and these colors are, are, from a standard, the American Institute of Architects standard, that is the AIA standard. You can click on this drop down, I can change to whatever standard you want. All right. And that is that for this. You want, you can change, or you can even change this thing and edit it to whatever you want one by one, but that is going to take you a lot of time. So you make sure that you provide a lot enough time, sit down with this, and then you make all the adjustments that you might need to make. So as for the line, you can see this is automatically generated line type. You can change it to whatever you want you can click on this drop down and you can set it to whatever you want okay then as for the pattern it is also automatically generated hash pattern or you can come here and you can change it to whatever you want so each time you export your brick wall it is going to come with the hash pattern of your choosing then the text and the font size automatically generated to the color you can change the color index you can tell it to have to use the same color that it is using inside here okay but that is going to distort the standards that we're already working with here so for the solid i want to i have i selected a 3d view so i want to be exporting that one in you know acis solid so i'm not going to be using the poly mesh i'm going to be exporting as acis solids okay the units and the coordinate i'm working with the metric template so it is going to it is, that is why it is set to this so the coordinate base i like to set it to shared coordinate so that it will be easy for another person to work with this file so that when they import it in they are going the coordinate is going to align properly so in the general you can set you can discuss with the person that you are exporting this file for to find out the autocad version that they are using you can set it to 2007 from here and all those things will be all these things will be already preset so that when you come to the to the other dialog box where you're supposed to select the area where you are going to export this file to you are just going to be focusing on exporting the file so the only thing I changed here, mind you, the only thing I changed here is the solids and then this um, shared coordinate and then this in the general, the, 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 the export file format. And you don't even have to do this. If the person you're working with is using the latest version of AutoCAD, you can just export to AutoCAD 2018 and the person will be able to open it as well. So I'm going to hit OK now and then I'm going to, if I click this save, set and close it is going to save this set for me okay it's going to save it as set one or set two you, you know depending on the last set number that was used so it is going to save it and then it's going to close it so if i'm working and i want to export 
it again in case of you know reviews and all that it is going to still maintain that set for me so that i can easily go and print it without having to open and start selecting this thing all over again so i'm going to hit next now it is going to open this thing for me i want to save this in my dialog in my in my desktop so i'm going to click the plus button to create a new folder and i'm going to call it dwg export when i do that you can you, you will see that this is already set to autocad 2007 as per our settings that we just finished doing now so now i'm going to leave this export views on sheets and link as a standard references the person you are giving this file to is going to appreciate that because it is not going to be giving him all these missing links error that usually happens when all these export views on sheets and links as a standard references is not checked on so i'm just going to hit ok now it might take some time for it to export you know when it finishes i'm going to open autocad file for for us to see what we have already exported now let's head over to autocad so that we can take a look so these are the files that were exported by uh, revit to autocad so i can just group it by type it is going to keep separate file format where they are supposed to be so the first one i want to open i want to open this particular one this architectural floor plan so when i open it you find out that it also exported the sheet as well and we can see all our information over here it's exported it exported the views and then the viewports and then you can see that it's also exported the doors and window shadows okay that is how it so if i open this model like so you can also see the model file over here you will see that it's also exported the model as well and then when i put it on the 3d view okay when i put it on 3d view you find out that it is a destructive process whereby it has taken this 3d geometry and it has flattened it to a 2d geometry so let's go ahead and open the 3d i'm just going to open this these two okay these are the ones that are on sheets as you can see okay you can see the sheets already there so let me open the 3d views and you're going to see okay it exported our 3d view for us as well yeah so that's how you export your file and this is what you're going to get when you export your file from you know revit to an autocad file okay so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a like and if you're new to this channel consider subscribing okay not only subscribing ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of my tutorials all right thank you very much for watching this video i will see you in the next one